If you're one of those students that has questions, come and get them. All right, so in this example, now we're doing the square roots. So again, for square roots, we want to have our variables raised to, raised to the second power. Does everybody agree with me? OK. Then we want to see, do we have any square numbers? Well, 8 is not a square number, nor is 12 a square number. However, when we're dealing with square numbers, um, what we want to do is um, rewrite them um, rewrite them as a product of a square number. So what I'll do is I'll write this as 4 times 2 x squared squared times x minus 2 times 4 times 3 x squared times x. Does everybody agree with me that how I just rewrote this is exactly the same thing as those two? Yes? OK. So now, can I take the square root of 4? Yep, that's 2. Can I take the square root of x squared? Yep, that's going to leave me with x squared. However, under my radical, though, is now just going to leave me with a 2x. And then over here, I have negative 2. Um, square root of 2 is just going to be 2. x squareds go out. It's 3x. So I have 6x squared times square root of 2x minus 4 square root of 3x. Please note, ladies and gentlemen, if your radicands are not exactly the same, guess what? You cannot add or subtract them. So that is your final answer. The radicand is not exactly the same. You cannot add or subtract them. Okay? So if they were.